people are using the new bike path, even though it isn't officially quite open yet, and uh, their, their dogs are picking up ticks. So. Within the last month, Kenton Animal Clinic has treated several dogs with ticks. Dr. Pete Freiberger is linking the problem to this new Tonawanda bike trail. He believes the blood-sucking insects are living in nearby grass. And they wait for um, an animal or a person to come along, they feel the vibrations, and then they jump on. There are two types of ticks. Dog ticks are often harmless, but deer ticks can carry an infection that could cause Lyme disease in pets and people. Well, Lyme disease, disease can be very severe. Uh, we see some positives in dogs, and certainly I've heard of people contracting Lyme disease as well. But you can protect yourself from the creepy crawlers by wearing deep repellent and long sleeves when outdoors. And there are several preventative treatments for dogs. The old saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And there's uh, there are two different oral medications they can take these days. Experts say the best way to avoid ticks is to be more vigilant during the warmer months like April through September. That's when ticks are most active. In Tonawanda, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Justin. Now, a bill to protect kids from Lyme disease has passed the Senate and Assembly. That bill would require the Health Department and DEC to work together, creating lesson plans, teaching kids about how to identify a tick and what to do if they get bit. Lyme disease is a very treatable disease if caught early, but can have serious consequences if it goes unchecked.